What is going on everybody? So I put on a post on both my Instagram and Twitter. If you guys are not following me on either of those platforms, go ahead and do that now. It's at UCF underscore Jaguar. Um, that's the best way to keep up with me when I'm not making videos. Uh, but I put out a post on each of those sites, basically wanting ideas for a video. So I got some time to make um, a video right now. And Ed underscore Cohen underscore on Twitter, uh, recommended me make a video on how many wins Dave Caldwell needs to stay safe as a GM and uh, I'm gonna do this more I mean I'm gonna do a broader view and actually go over the whole entire front office between Tom Coughlin Dave Caldwell and uh, and uh, Doug Marone now uh, this is something that I actually we actually spoke about on the Jin Jag podcast last week um, if you guys don't know I am on a podcast now so you guys can hear me for about an hour each week, uh, I'll put that. I'll put the link to the latest um, podcast right there, um, right in the description box, so you guys can go follow on to that for a more detailed and you know standpoint of somebody else. But in my opinion, uh, with the Jaguars front office, like I think that if say worst comes to worst, and say the Jaguars finish four and twelve, I think that everybody is safe. Or I think that only Tom Coughlin is safe. I'll be completely honest with you. You know, I think if the Jaguars go four and twelve, then uh, Sean Khan is basically going to be like, okay, Doug, you're out of here. Dave, you're out of here. And Tom Coughlin, I'm going to let you do the whole entire coaching search, the GM search, and um, as the VP of football operations, this is going to be your uh, your decision on who we hire and whatnot. Uh, just because with with the way the Je with the way Shad Khan is, he doesn't like a lot of turnover. You know what I'm saying? I mean, he took over as the owner in 2012. Um, he let a year of the whole uh, Gene Smith, Mike Mularkey thing go on, and then he totally um, fired the whole coaching staff, the GM, the front office, and just basically started from scratch. Ever since 2013, Dave Caldwell has been the general manager, and. I'd say with his strength, his strength as a GM is probably finding the mid-round picks, like, you know, some of our third round, you know, our, a couple of second round picks has been, um, you know, Jawan Taylor, like Miles Jack, Alan Robinson, those were some good second round picks. Some good third round picks have been like uh, Brandon Linder, um, you know, Yannick Ngakwe, fourth round picks, we've gotten Aaron Colvin, um, and what's called we've gotten a couple other players i can't think of the top of my head fifth round pick telvin telvin smith so we've done pretty well in like the mid rounds but man he's hit on some first round picks i mean if you go back 20 uh 2013 luke jokel no longer in the league 2014 blake bortles a bust at quarterback um you know, 2015 dante fowler who was trade away for a mid round pick you know 2016 um we were lucky that jalen jalen ramsey was even there i mean he should have been picked by the uh, by the Dallas Cowboys. Um, you know, 2017, you go out and draft Leonard Fournette. Uh, last year, you get Taven Bryan, who had one sack on the year. So, I mean, it's just been so questionable with the first round picks, not to mention all the different players that they spent a lot of money on. So, um, you know, I think that he, I think that really this draft class right now with the whole uh, Josh Allen, Jawan Taylor, um, you know, Josh Oliver, that's really going to make or break him. And really the Jaguars this year are going to make him break him. So, like, I think that I think that if they, get, if they get eight wins, you know, I think that he's safe probably. But uh, it, a lot of it's just so circumstantial. Like, you know, is the injury bug going to hit us again this year? It hit us really bad in, in 2018. I mean, that was historically bad. Uh, not to mention that they – double down on, you know, what was it, bust at quarterback with Blake Bortles giving him an extension. Um, but I think the Jets, they need to make the playoffs this year. I mean, if they make the playoffs, then everybody is safe. But, um, I mean, if they go if they go 6-10, and 7-9, and 8-8, eight eight, you know, I think that with all the money and capital that they've spent uh, around the, you know, draft and just in free agency and just how much, just how much money that we spent, you know, I think that Dave Caldwell and – um, Tom Coughlin or Dave Caldwell and Doug Brown could likely be out and you know I think I think that they're gonna get let TC Tom Coughlin really um, get some more years under him because of course he joined the staff in 2017 so he's going into his third 
full season, I feel like they might be he might be a little more comfortable with Tom Coughlin leading that search. But you know, it's this with the way the NFL is turning, man. I mean, it's it's really not the type of style that Tom Coughlin, Doug Brown, and stuff like that is all about. I mean. Uh, would you, would you, as a millennial like me, twenty-five year old, you know, I would much rather play for a team coached by like McVay, you know, a much more fun atmosphere than it would be a dis- disciplinary atmosphere like, um, you know, like the Jaguars currently have. I mean, you have Talon Smith sitting out a year. You have Jalen Ramsey on social media looking like he wants basically off the team. I mean, he's talking about, you know, he's basically out here flirting with the Texans. The Titans, the Chargers. I mean, it's driving me nuts. I don't know if you guys saw my latest tweet, but it's it's driving me absolutely banana sandwich. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's 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 an interesting scenario, and um, I'd like to see. Actually, I wouldn't like to see, but if the Jaguars do go six and ten, seven and nine, what's going to happen? You know, I think that Doug Marone. I do think that Doug Marone's a good coach. I mean, when you look at him, you know, he's had winning. Yeah, I think he's coached four full NFL seasons, and two of those have been winning seasons, you know. One of those was with the Bills, who haven't had a winning season in forever, and another one was, was with the Jaguars, who hadn't had a winning season in forever. So, you know, he's overturned some, you know, underperforming franchises in his recent years. So I'll be interested to see, and hopefully the Jaguars can make the playoffs, go to the AFC Championship, and win the Super Bowl. But all right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Drop a like, subscribe, go Jacks.